1650, the trip for the second last. It's a class two contest headed by Sichuan Dai. Actually, has an entry um, in the international mile. He's last start course and distance winner. Little Dragon, a two-time course and distance winner. The Golden Age, first up for the season. Good draw, barrier two. Gonna run goes up in class last start uh, winner. Got Star Majestic, another uh, horse going up in class last start winner. And Literature as well. He's a two-time course and distance winner. Certainly has the ability if he puts in. Both good solid contests, aren't they? Races 9 and 10. Um, the Golden Age is an interesting runner. He's been gelded in the off-season. Still a three-year-old who had a fairly high profile coming to Hong Kong. You'd think that he might take up the lead here. He won a trial recently at the Valley over 1700. Beauty Prince might cross to sit outside of him. I think you can be assured that Big Bang Bong and Speedy Longwa will both get nice saloon runs on the back of the pace. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? Well, here's Taylor Legend. He's second up. Uh, Derek Lung's uh, doing the work on him. He's, he's really in good form at the moment, Derek Lung, isn't he? And uh, Barrier 9, a little bit tricky, but uh, he does love it at Happy Valley, uh, Tater Legend. This was his gun up on the 20th of October, and then he backed it up on the 27th of October with uh, another 400 metres and uh, doing it nicely as well, just with the riding boy on. But uh, Derek Lung had a good uh, feel for him on, a, on that first occasion anyway when he, uh, when he was working. Uh, Literature, now, he's a very a unique horse, this one. Uh, and he can pull a lot in his track work. I've seen him a lot worse than this, but you can see he's still pulling and he's very, very keen. But he's definitely got plenty of ability, this one. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, 400 metres there for him. Backed it up and a little bit more relaxed this time, I thought. So it was worth showing the, the two uh, difference in uh, track work. First time he was super keen. This time um, he's not so not so much. A little bit more relaxed. Yeah, I said if he he's a good horse if he puts it in. It's not, mm. probably not fair to say that. He's just not an easy ride, is he? No. Um, he's a... Talented horse, there's mm. no doubt. He's my little backup long shot, actually, right. Andrew. Just okay. in case. Uh, the other ones Sixteen dollars at the moment about him. Uh, let's start off with uh, Szechuan Dice. He's another really good pickup ride for Umberto Rispoli. Last start winner. Margin wasn't big, but I just wonder if it was a little bit more in the tank. Probably. He's a very talented horse on his day. He's won three out of four over the course and distance, so it's hard to put a negative feel on his situation at the Valley over the 1650. This is a class two. It's a 95 to 75 rating span. So it's one of the weakest sort of class two races. I think it goes against him, actually, because he's got to carry a lot more weight now and he's not an overly big horse. So that brings him back to the rest of the field for me. I got him in. I got him in, but not on the win line. Mm. Uh, it's, a, it's a really nice race, this one. Uh, Barry 11 just concerned me a little bit. But right. uh, he's an honest horse in four from... A three from four, mm. you know, is a tail in itself, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Course and distant record uh, stands out. Um, Gunner Run, who's a last start winner here at uh, Happy Valley, did it well, was well backed as well, but goes up in class as a result. Yeah, you could throw a nappy over the whole field here, couldn't you? Um, they would ride across the track. The handicapper would be happy with this one. Uh, and he got the saloon passage through on the inside, came through and won. Done nothing wrong. Barrier 12 will probably have to get a bit further back. It was a lovely ride from Zach on this occasion to uh, to get through and basically, I thought, you know, pinch the race. Um, he's another one. He's won three out of five over the course mm. and distance. The class mm. is the issue. But as I said, this is the softer sort of class too, which I think is in his favour a little. All right. Perpetual joints, a uh, lot of speed, multiple winner as well. First time over the 1650, though, for him. Yeah, I don't know what he'll... Or how he'll handle it, actually, the 1650. Um, 1,000 metres, 1,200 metres has been his go. I sort of got the feeling that when you look at his record from last season, 10 starts, 4 wins, 3 seconds. He climbed a fair way up the ratings mountain, didn't he, Paul? I wonder whether he's at his mark. It could well be. Uh, this is... I, I think this is quite a hard race. So yeah. um, up to the 1650, I'll just watch him. Uh, he's, he's, he's a very versatile horse. Yeah. He was making a little bit of ground there. Yeah, that was yeah. little giant Pabloski. Not many horses make ground that yeah. day. I haven't yeah. tipped him, but if he were to run well and yeah. be yeah, in the finish, be I wouldn't be surprised. All right. well, $17 chance probably his right yeah. price. Perpetual joints. Um, Star Majestic, another last start uh, winner here. Again, course and distance. Yeah, I don't think he's at his mark yet either. Like, he's been placed in class one before this horse. Um, barrier number three. He should get a nice run just in behind. It was a tough win, this one. Uh, if he can back it up, um, you know, it's, this this will be second up. But uh, I'll give him a chance from a low barrier draw. He should get a nice run. And he, he's, he's obviously in form. He won well. Yep, I agree. I've got him in too. Um, as Paul said, he's he's never won in this class, but um, he has performed well at it in the past. So yeah. he'll go in for me. All right. One more horse to have a check on, and that's the Golden Age with his jockey, Matthew Chadwick. Matthew, the Golden Age, it's his first start for the season. A pretty decent barrier trial recently. Your thoughts on the horse? Yeah, he's come back a better horse. He's come back better. He's matured more, he's more now and uh, 
he showed in his trial that he's, uh, he's improved, so let's hopefully he can take that to the races. Good barrier to, to come out of, and uh, he looks as if he, he has pace as well. Is the plan to lead? Well, you know, that's what he did in the trial, and he seemed to uh, go well in that, so uh, I'd expect it would be handy, yes. He won a Group 3 in France, and I think he came fourth in a Group 1 also in Europe. Does he strike you as a horse who potentially could be competing at the highest level? Look, it's very early days. He's just a three-year-old. Last year, he was very mature. He hadn't acclimatised yet. So he's come back, a, looks like a better horse this year. So uh, he's got to prove it race day first. So let's just take a step at a time. And just finally, a question mark over the distance. He's never raced over 1,650 metres at Happy Valley. Do you think that will be a concern? Well, as I said, again, uh, he tried well over the 1,700 there the other day. So I don't think it is. He, he had trouble last year with the sprint races. Again, he, was, he wasn't acclimatised yet, but uh, with all being, uh, being well, he shouldn't, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, and that mile race that Doug and Matthew touched on as well was a group one over 1,600 metres at Shaunty as a two-year-old mm. as well. So, Yeah, I think he's... I've seen a lot of horses over the years come to Tony's yard in a similar situation. Nice horses from Europe come here, they take a while to settle in. Often they get gelded as well, which has happened to him in the off-season. And then they come good, you know, a few months down the track. So keeping an eye on him, he's a horse that's got some talent. No, no, he definitely has. I, I think, he, you know, 1,800 might be his go in time because, mm. you know, 1,600-metre two-year-old would. Uh, barrier two, he looks like he could be a little bit one pace, but um, I'll watch him go around this Looks time. a good starting point for him. Yeah, right. I think you're right. Yeah. But some, uh, some good winning form and place form to work with here, Paul? I think we have. I think it's a really nice race. We've got uh, quite an open field. I'm going to go with Star Majestic, last start winner. Uh, Siswan Dar is up in the weights, drawn barrier 11, but in good form at the moment. Big bang bong from barrier 1, so you get a really nice run in behind. And the track work I showed earlier on that included Speedy Longwa, I didn't think it was too bad from that horse. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if he ran well. He loves it at Happy Valley, as we know. So I'll go 11 one four two. I like the price of Star Majestic at 960 and 410, so I'll be playing him each way at this stage. It's a tricky little race. I'm going to go with Big Bang Bong. He's come up with a good barrier. Star Majestic has also drawn well. Interesting with Big Bang Bong, he's after a high achievement bonus of 750000 um, The validity on that will end at the end of the calendar year. So uh, I think there's only one or two chances, maybe three, for him to uh, accumulate that extra bonus money and he gets a good chance. He hasn't been to the Valley since his very good run behind Time Warp last season. That mm. form reads OK, I think, for a race like this. Star Majestic, gone a run, and literature capable. If he sits back and settles and they go quick, he might swamp them. My little backup ruffy for the day, as okay. I mentioned. Validity is the word of the day. It is. It's huge. <laughs> I say that, didn't I? Didn't want to get that one in. It's too long ago, <laughs> right, I can't remember. Uh, race number nine, Class 2 of the 1650. We finish off with another Class 2. A really good one. That comes up next.